school debt is a huge problem. A lot of parents are struggling. Those local families are coming up short to pay for their students' meals at school. The government recently ended the federal pandemic era program to pay for school meals. I'm John Holtz and I'm Shannon Brusso. Combine that with families and schools fighting inflation and higher supply costs and many area districts are now in the red. Fox 4's Russell Colburn is working for you tonight and joins us with a look at the problem. Well, March is National Nutrition Month and the School Nutrition Association, a nonprofit, says in January nearly 850 school districts nationwide reported their meal debt. The number exceeded $19 million. Tonight, a look at where your kid's school may stand and what may help. Lori Danella is the nutrition director for the Lee Summit School District. Fox 4 News caught up with her Monday at Kansas City International Airport, fresh from her trip to Washington, D.C. for a school nutrition association conference. Their main task right now, tackling school meal debt, especially since the federal pandemic era program for free meals was ended. In a family of four, they have to make less than $649 a week to qualify for free or reduced meals. The whole family? The whole family, correct. Less than $100 a day. Correct. Danella says whether they qualify or not, students aren't turned away. They're always fed. She says that money comes out of the education budget. We've already served those meals and we've paid for those meals. We paid for the labor, so the district has to pay for that. It can't come out of our budget. So basically what that could mean if a district has over 45000 or 55000 in negative debt, that could be a teacher's salary. Working for you, Fox 4 News asked several area school districts for their meal debt data. Liberty says 49 full pay students are in debt. Blue Valley stands at 1550 total, Shawnee at nearly 2300. Garner and Lee Summit attached a dollar figure to their debt, upwards of 140 students in Garner for a total of $700. And in Lee Summit, where Danella works, it's more than 400 students and almost $49,000 in the red. At nine, we introduced you to a mom who has taken this crisis into her own hands, raising money for her late son's school in Shawnee in his memory. Do you feel like parents should have to be raising money to cancel out lunch debt? No, I don't. I really don't. A new Missouri bill promises to pay for every public school kid's meals, but Danella fears it'll be squashed for funding reasons. She hoped the USDA can provide some help as well. School districts known as Community Eligible Provisions, or CEP districts, already provide all free meals to students for meeting a certain income threshold, so they don't have any meal debt at all. Kansas City Public Schools is a CEP district. John?